Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today, I want to show you how I built a cat flap for my cat's Orion Peach. I'm not able to modify the sliding door where the flap is going to go. So you see me here devising a cunning plan. As you probably noticed, my initial solution was to purchase a cat flap from the hardware store. But I really wasn't happy with the purchased cat flap. This is Ori. This is Peach. He likes to hang out underneath the bed. Don't you, little vampire? Anyway, but I really wasn't happy with the way that it worked. Here I've got it on a bench. I'm about to take it off here and replace it. The problem with it is this. It's really difficult to get these to move to and fro with your fingernail. Because when this is in, you've got to like... See, it's got these plastic features here that the red and green tabs are supposed to slot into. But because of this furry stuff on the edge, which I guess is supposed to stop the cat's tail from being pinched, um, it's really difficult to line up the door just exactly, and it just gets caught on here, and it's just, it's really frustrating to use, and it gets stuck like at 45 degrees, and it won't close. So here's the new one, it's just had a coat of varnish and uh, this will just get screwed on on top of the where the existing one is. These features here are to prevent the cat's tail from being pinched or at least not as severely pinched because now you can't pinch right at the, at the hinge point. You have to get your tail out here to be pinched and it's not nearly as bad because this door is quite a bit bigger and heavier. This is it here. And I've improved the way that it locks. I'll show you that in a minute. Let's just get the um, masking tape off of this thing. Oh, it's lovely. Look at that. turned out pretty well. Yeah, very nice. It's got a magnet in the bottom. Until I built a cat flap, I didn't even realize that the old one had a magnet on. The purpose of that is to stop it from flapping around in the wind. The old one's got these little caps to cover the screws. Stupid. Shame on you. Whoever designed that, do it better next time. Okay? No good. <laughs> So, I didn't really plan how I was going to mark this out. 
I suppose just about any size hole is fine as long as it's smaller than the outside dimension. So I'll just pick a size and cut a neat square hole. Moment of truth. Ah, oh, beautiful. No stuffing about. Turns out I don't have screws which are quite the right size. So I'm just gonna grind the backs off of these once they've been driven through. Always feels a bit dirty doing that. So you might be able to guess how this works. This goes in here and the corresponding knob goes on the other way and this one goes on that way like that and then you can control whether they can come in go out neither etc um, this is a lock nut glued in there and I've never tried threading it on here I have a feeling that's going to be fun but uh, in addition to that I've got an elaborate stack of washers to go on so the first one is a nylon or plastic washer I don't know what it actually is then that and then that comes through and that just makes it slippery, hopefully. In you go. That's it. Then the next one will be a metal washer to protect the wood from a spring washer. Another metal washer to protect a nylon washer from the wooden knob. Yep. I think that's correct. So, let's thread this on. Nice. That's got a really positive feel to it. Cool. Finally, it's time for the door. Now, the door's got these little springy hinges on it. I'm not sure what they're called. I think they're called pin hinges or bullet hinges. I mean, I'm just guessing they're called bullet hinges, I don't know. But, um, what would you call that? Anyway, thanks Dad, he lent me a few of these. Did you fetch your mouse out from under the couch? You haven't, have you? How are we going to deal with that mouse? You didn't injure it too badly. What am I supposed to do? Release it into the neighborhood? Or do I have to kill it? I don't know. Should be pretty simple to just squeeze the pins. And that's it. Beautiful. It's in. All right, let's put it up. You can? What do you think of that? <laughs> I've just realized that I've got this tiny little padlock that I could easily drill through there. Oh. That, ladies and gentlemen, is now the final piece. There's always a few false endings that never get put in the video. So this is obviously just so that the Slenderman can't reach in through the cat flap and come creeping on me at night. Ta -da! Now, there's absolutely no way anybody can unlock the door because they, they can't reach up to the top, so we only need a lock on the bottom. All right, this time, thank you all very much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. See you next time. Bye.